The baseball version of the battle on the bayou has been dominated by Louisiana lately, and nothing has changed this weekend against ULM. The Cajuns are already winning the series to make it 29 wins in their last 30 games against the Warhawks. UL searching for a weekend sweep Saturday, but ULM was in command early on in this contest. How about a 9-2 lead at one point? But STM product David Christie came in the last five innings and calmed things down, allowing only one hit with six strikeouts. And then the Cajuns went on the comeback trail, scoring six runs in the sixth and Brett Borgogno singles in the seventh to bring in Bobby Lede were tied at nine. A couple batters later, CJ Willis is going to hammer a single to center field to bring in Borgogno and Louisiana takes the lead and they weren't done just yet. Willis now on second base. He's going to be able to take third with a bad pitch and when it rains it pours but this one is in a good way for the Cajuns. That sets up Connor Kimple with the safety squeeze to bring Willis home. Cajuns score nine unanswered runs over two innings and sweep the series with an 11 to 9 victory. We had to work for every single one of these. Uh, you know, Friday was a great, uh, we, we pitched it really well and, and we swung it and, and defended it. And uh, last night we were able to win a close one. And then uh, today we needed a comeback victory. I think that's the only thing we were missing. Uh, and to come back in that fashion is gigantic for your confidence. We got a gritty group uh, that loved each other. They love to play and they never say die. They just never quit. And we were able to string that together today. We've gotten close. And then today we were able to break through. Over in Atlanta, number 16 UL softball completing the sweep over Georgia State with a 13 to one beat down in five innings. The Cajuns hit four homers in the contest, including two from Julie Rawls. Louisiana advances to 25 and six overall and 11 and one in the Sun Belt.